So just a few weeks back, Stone Island saw their release of the Alligator Camo Collection. Now this collection was made up of quite a few different pieces including sweatshirts, parker coats, shorter style bomber jackets, hoodies and shorts as well. A lot of people wanted to kind of know what this collection was saying before they went out and purchased it. I'm going to kind of run through it real quickly, look at a little bit of the detail, talk about price point, talk about fabrics, how the collection was put together and we're going to look at it all in some more detail, okay? so. Without further ado, let's get right in. Two seconds. Young group got hits. And I think what we're going to do is start off with the sweatshirts, okay? So these are the sweatshirts that were re released as part of the um, Alligator Collection. So the sweatshirts are actually constructed from a lightweight nylon rep material. It's one of Stone Island's kind of special materials and the finishing on the material is really nice. One thing I would note about the Alligator Collection is that the feel of the items is it's weird but it's almost got this kind of slippery feel maybe not so much slippery but there's definitely a certain type of feel to the fabric on top and what i did note about what stone island's done with this collection is they actually hand painted then they photographed then they went ahead and printed that um, photograph on to the fabrics so what you'll find is a lot of the design has a really kind of unique uh, effect and look now not only that but stone island has also gone ahead and used different types of print on the fabric one of the prints you can see for example this one right here is been printed in polyfurane so this particular print the dark spots that you can see actually raises up a little bit so it's got a bit of a feel to it when you brush your hand over when you kind of shine it in the light you can almost see a little bit that it's almost like it's a bit reflective or shiny on the um, darker patches that uses the polyfane print. So that's a really nice touch as well. Just to note with the alligator collection as well is that it is inspired by Polish military wear. You see they've used a different material here going across on the sleeves. When I had some models kind of modeling this stuff and I saw it on them, I thought it looked really cool. So yeah, the sweatshirts for me, the sweatshirts for me are really nice pieces. Now these are coming in at 265 for a sweatshirt. You know, yes, it is kind of expensive for a sweatshirt. What I do tend to find is that when Stone Island released their collections, like the last one I believe they were released that I can remember anyway was the Corro Corrosion Collection and that was quite expensive for the sweatshirts. And this is no different at 265, it is a lot of big boy cheese for this piece. I would definitely agree. Now, in terms of colour, I really do like the colour of the camo collection. I think it's really nice. I can't really think of too many um, bright green pieces that Stone Island have used in this kind of colourway. Also, I love the sand colour as well. The sand print colour I thought was really amazing. Now, I know a lot of people will be looking at the collection and be like, you know what, I'm not really too sure about the print. So, you know, I think some people will rock it confidently and they'll be fine wearing it. And some people will just think, you know what, it's a little bit too much. So, it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit OTT for me. You can see on the other, on the other colour they've used that kind of special material that goes across the sleeve. So it's a nice contrast in materials there. I, I really do like that personally. Now moving on to some of the Parker pieces, which obviously are longer Parker jacket styles. I, and again, I, I thought these were really nice. There are a few downsides in my opinion that I thought, so I'm gonna run those through you. Just gonna have a look at that in a little bit more detail, okay? I did like the fact that they did have two kind of big pockets on the front of the jacket. But one thing I think that did disappoint me is that there were no other pockets on the jacket. There were no lower pockets or anything like that, which I guess might, it could have been, it could have looked OTT if you had maybe four big pockets on the side. But I don't know, I think maybe it could have worked if they put two lower pockets on the side here. The pockets on the side were quite high up. So when you put your arms in the jacket, it did it did feel a, just a little bit uncomfortable to have your arms so high up. Um, I just wish there was more pockets throughout the jacket. There was no um, pocket on the inside. That's one of my, that's one of my gripes about the jacket. On the hood, you've got this kind of wire frame there. So 
when you wear the hood it kind of sticks out so i guess if it rains um this is going to kind of stick out a little bit further and should protect your face and your head we've got some quick release velcro velcro there which again it's more military inspired and meant to be more functional i just feel like for 725 it is a lot of money for this piece i, I do think it is quite expensive for what it is so for the parkers for me i, I do like them but i think i'd probably end up passing because I, I just think the price point is just a little bit too high they've used that special print that i'm talking about so you can see the darker black print is like a polyfurane material so if i kind of shine it like that you can see that it is almost reflecting the light just a little bit let's note that it is not reflective unfortunately some people are like you know what it would have been really nice if they used like a reflective material um but yeah they didn't but they, they should have done for 725 it is using some anti-drop finish um technology which means the jacket is water resistant but unfortunately it is not waterproof okay now the outer construction is made from a nylon rep material the jacket is meant to be lightweight and as i said it is water resistant and it does have a kind of really nice feel to the front of the jacket as well now in terms of colors for me i think i did prefer the sand color the green was really nice um, but the sand color for me i think it was less stand out than the green and because the parka was quite long I don't know, I just thought the sand colour was quite nice. But you know what, the green is equally as nice as well, so it kind of just depends on your preference. If you want something just to maybe a little bit more subtle, then I would go for the sand colour. The green is subtle in terms of it being a darker colour, but that print is kind of crazy, so <laughs> you're definitely going to get noticed in this, wearing this, so yeah. Now, moving on to my favourite piece from the collection so far that I've saw with this kind of um, shorter bomber style jacket, which was quite nice. You can see here, still now I've got... I've got a really nice pull cord you can use to kind of adjust the um, cords going on the side of the neck and also on the waist there which I thought was a really cool touch man but again more of a mini version of the Parker you can see it's got the quick release velcro on the sleeves there you've got the badge there which goes really nicely with the green as well there were no pockets on the inside of this jacket so I felt that was a little bit of a letdown but yeah you've got the zips there of course uh, the Stone Island are still using the YKK zips which is good to see once again using anti-drop finish so it is water resistant but it is not waterproof overall the collection is really nice I mean when Stone Island release these collections you know they do tend to be quite expensive for what they are but I do like the way that they have put quite a lot of thought into it in terms of how they've printed the item again it is hand painted it, it is then photographed and it is then printed onto the fabric and even them using the polyfurane uh, material for a certain patterns here and then it gives it that reflective look I thought is a nice touch that's something I felt like they could have let people more people know about because not a lot of people knew about that you know if you're a Stone Island collector and you love collecting the pieces and obviously this is going to be great for you but I guess more for like everyday wear or just you know you're just looking for like your first stone island piece or something like that this, this might be a bit expensive it might not be the way to go if you want to get a stone island piece now for some of you guys that are looking for some stone island pieces you can always jump onto our website thehoxtontrend.com i've already set up a page here which can show you lots of the cool pieces that are coming out so for example i've got like a cp company page that will show you lots of new cp company stuff i've also got a page here for all the latest stone island pieces that i am coming across online you can also find like sales on here offers voucher codes that we've, we get from retailers that we've partnered up with so it's definitely worth you guys maybe checking it out and seeing what it's all saying okay so that's it guys that's it for the video once again i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it informative i've got lots more videos coming all right peeps i'm out of here catching a bit peace out